everyone. Uh, first, I'd like to thank the Toronto Raptors and Maple Leaf Sports and Entertainment for having this open house for the coaches today. Especially being a game day and having the coaches so busy to prepare for Golden State, it was great that they were able to share their time with us today, so we appreciate it very much. Um, my job here today, and if I'm sounding really loud, I apologize, uh, I'm here to introduce the team that's going to talk to you about the development pathway for coaches. It'll include NCCP as well as some of the Ontario basketball programs and the Canada basketball pro programs and the coaching certification that leads into each. So our first speaker will be Jeremy Cross. He's the manager of coach education for the Coaches Association of Ontario. He's been there for five years. His role is to know the coaching pathway for 67 sports. Uh, but lucky for us, his passion is basketball. Then we'll have Lindsay Walsh, otherwise known as Lou. She's uh, new to with Ontario basketball. She's the director of basketball development. She's just completed her master's in sports psychology at the University of Windsor, and she is a provincial team coach with the Ontario Girls Program. And if you ask her what her strength is, she said it's penetrating left and going straight to the rim. Uh, I'd also like to just quickly introduce that Kelly Lafontaine and Jason uh, Jansen from Ontario Basketball are with us. Kelly is the coordinator of coach education, and JJ is the director of business development. And then to close off our speech, our speeches today is Roy Rana, the head coach at University of Ryers Ryerson University, as Matt just said. Uh, we're very excited to have Roy here because he's just qualified with his Rams team to go to Halifax next weekend for the CIS National Championships. And Roy's uh, been a club coach, a high school coach, a provincial team co coach, and a national team coach. So he's got a great pathway for his coaching development and we'll share some great stuff with you. So first up is Jeremy Cross. Thank you very much, Michelle. Appreciate it. Uh, good afternoon, coaches. Basketball is definitely my passion. In fact, today, this morning, I uh, was coaching a game at 9 a.m. and I'm running out of here afterwards to coach a bronze game uh, over at Ryerson. So uh, it's a pleasure to be here with uh, all of you coaches doing a variety of different things. So uh, thank you, Maple Leaf Sports, Toronto Raptors, and uh, Victor uh, for putting this together. Uh, I'm, I'm representing the Coaches Association of Ontario, an organization that's focused on coach education and development in our province. Uh, I'm also looking forward to sharing some very important information on the coach education pathway for basketball coaches in Canada. So the next 20 minutes will consist of an overview of the big picture Canadian sports system, as well as a general kind of pathways and programs overview. That'll come from Lindsay Walsh at uh, OBA. She's gonna really drill down and, and, and show you the very specific pathway that each coach in the room can take advantage of. And whether you're coaching grassroots, recreation, competitive, elite, high performance, whether you're coaching in a school or a club setting or anything else, there is a program available for you to continue to move and your, advance your knowledge and education uh, as a coach. So uh, just to start off, by a show of hands, how many of you have heard of NCCP? All right, good start. Well, for those that don't know, uh, the National Coaching Certification Program, it's the national standard for coaching in Canada. It covers all 13 provinces and territories and 67 different sports. So where did the system come from? How is it governed, developed, and delivered? So up on the board, if you flip to the next slide, Jay, diagram up there. You'll see NCCP right in the middle. And in, in about six different partners that surround and are involved with the delivery and development of the NCCP program. The top three up there are the national level organizations. The one on the left 
is the Coaching Association of Canada. The one in the middle is Canada Basketball. And they're the key people in development of the content, the programs, and the processes for basketball. And then the one on the right is Sport Canada, and they help support with the funding aspect to develop those programs. If we look at the lower part of that slide, in the middle on the lower level is Ontario Basketball Association. And their job and their responsibility is to deliver and execute that NCCP program. And then you'll see Coaches Ontario and also the Ontario government that help in the support of that delivery and also provide funding to do so. So where do you fit into this NCCP system? So the next slide shows you kind of what looks like an orchestra or band shell diagram. And this kind of shows, this is a, a slide that's used for all the different sports. On the left side of this slide is the community screen. So that's coaches in the room that are grassroots, fundamental, recreation, elementary level. As we move to the right and this band shell, we move to competition screen. And these are, there's two different entry points that you can access as a coach when you're going forward to do your coaching education training. The first entry point is for coaches that are working with new athletes who are getting introduced to competition. So learning to train and learning to compete. And the further we move in this band shell to the right, there's another entry point, which is focusing more on elite level athletes and really focus on training to win, where we're, we are striving for excellence, all right? But no matter where you are, in what context you are coaching, there is an NCCP program available to you in the province, and you can enter into that context at any different point, all right? Later, you're gonna hear from Lindsay, and she's going to show you how Canada Basketball and OBA have basketballified this pathway. So how do you get certified as a coach? It's pretty simple. Attend a workshop. Once you've completed the workshop, you're trained. Once you're trained, you can participate in a one-on-one -on -one evaluation in order to get certified. That's pretty much it. So this certification process. It is a, it's governed and supported by a national model that incorporates international standards and research that supports it. And it's called the Canadian Sport for Life model. The model and research promotes stage appropriate training for athletes and coaches. It maximizes player development, but also, and not to forget, the importance of being active for life, all right? With that, I will turn the floor over to Lindsay Walsh from Ontario Basketball. Thank you. Hi there. Thank you, Jeremy. You're welcome. Hello, everyone. Um, I've been given the task today to discuss with you the NCCP coaching ba pathway specific to basketball in Ontario. Uh, so as you'll see on the slide above, uh, this is a visual representation of the Canadian coaching pathway. Uh, this pathway is based on the long-term athlete development model that Jeremy just introduced. Uh, as each piece of the fan represents a stage of development uh, within the long-term athlete development model. So with respect to so, uh, coaching certification, 